Welcome to the Smite God Reveal for Terra, the Earth Mother. The Mother of Earth, also known as Terra Mater, rests dormant beneath every living thing. Upon her flesh, trees stand like hairs, rivers weave like veins, and oceans lap against her sides. With Terra as the Earth, and her love, Uranus, as the sky, they created their children, the Titans, who are bestowed with supreme power surpassing their parents. Jealousy and fear overcame Uranus, and he buried the Titans within the Earth. Fearing the darkness in her husband, Terra freed her children and overthrew Uranus. With Terra's blessing, the youngest Titan, Saturn, took over the throne. However, a prophecy told of Saturn's defeat at the hands of his own children, Saturn consumed his offspring without hesitation. Only Jupiter survived. With vengeful fury, he split open his father, releasing his siblings. Soon after, Saturn's children defeated the Titans and claimed the world as their own. Mournful of the children she lost, Terra slept, and ages passed. Now she finally rises from her slumber, driven by revenge on those treacherous gods who stole the world from her son. She rises to claim the throne for herself. Terra's passive is Standing Stones. Terra's abilities create Standing Stones. As long as any Standing Stones are on the battleground, Terra becomes knock-up immune and her basic attacks will slow enemies. Terra can also shatter her Standing Stones. If she successfully shatters a Standing Stone, her passive will remain active for three seconds. Terra's first ability is Force of Nature. Terra moves the earth beneath her, causing her to dash forward and damaging enemies she passes through. If Terra dashes through one of her own standing stones, the stone will be shattered, causing additional effects and allowing Terra to dash again within the next three seconds. Terra's second ability is Crushing Earth. Terra raises up two parallel standing stone walls on either side of target location, slowing enemies in between. As long as both stones stand, Terra may activate this ability again to slam the stones together, damaging enemies and stunning those in the center. These stones can be shattered into a cone of shrapnel with her first ability damaging enemies in the area. Terra's third ability is Monolith. Terra summons a standing stone monolith surrounded by lush plant life. The monolith heals nearby allies every 0.5 seconds. Terra can shatter this stone with her first ability to root enemies in the area for one second and convert the area from healing allies to damaging enemies. Terra's ultimate is Terra's blessing. Terra channels her strength into the entire world, buffing all of her allies on the map for 10 seconds. While active, Terra and her allies gain increased movement speed, reduction of mana costs for abilities, and increased cooldown reduction. Also, if Terra or any allied gods take damage four times during the durations, they will be healed. Each god has their own hit count. Terra is great at locking down multiple enemies when starting a team fight. First, place down Monolith on the enemy team and Force of Nature into it. This will root all the enemy gods and place them in a damaging field, allowing your team to get the jump on individual players as they are trying to escape this field. Follow up this move with Crushing Earth on someone who was rooted to land an easy stun, leaving them in the damage field longer and allowing more time for your team to follow up. Not only is Terra great at engaging, but she is also powerful at countering enemy engages. By using Terra's blessing, enemies will have a harder time killing and catching your teammates, especially if Monolith is active and your teammates can stand in the healing field. Finally, use Crushing Earth either as a stun to peel for your allies or place the walls in a way that will stop the enemy advance. Speaking of Crushing Earth, this ability can be used in multiple ways to cause trouble for your enemies. Outside of using the ability to stun or block pathways with a physical wall, placing Crushing Earth at choke points can force people to have to go a different route or risk getting stunned. Additionally, you can place Crushing Earth behind enemy gods, cutting off their escape path and forcing an engagement. 
Monolith is similarly good at controlling the battlefield. Where you place it determines a lot of how your team will be able to fight and where the enemy can stand without risk of being rooted and damaged. Don't be afraid to block off paths using Monolith and its damaging field. Terra is a guardian who excels at providing control on the battleground through crushing Earth and Monolith and supporting her teammates through powerful healing and utility from Terra's blessing and Monolith. Pair Terra with characters who can chain off of her crowd control, like Nox, Scylla, or Hu Yi, or characters who may need more peel than most, like Artemis or Hebo. For Terra, you will want to start with Crushing Earth. This ability is a strong form of poke and has a decent wave clearing potential. Next, place a point into Monolith. Being able to place a healing field onto your minions and ally in lane is a great way to exert lane pressure. Force of Nature will be your next point, allowing you to shatter your standing stones to gain their additional effect. In this case, it will give you more damage on Crushing Earth and allow you to use the damaging field of Monolith. From there, you will want to prioritize maxing Terra's Blessing, followed by Crushing Earth, Monolith, and finally, Force of Nature. Terra excels at being in the fray and disrupting the enemy team, as well as supporting her allies, so she will need defensive stats as well as some utility. Start with Watcher's Gift and Potions for the laning phase, and quickly buy Shoes of Focus to reduce your cooldowns. Next, pick up Sovereignty for a quick boost to your health and armor for yourself and your teammates. Ritual Dagger is your next item, allowing you to have empowered relics to help during team fights. Bulwark of Hope will then give you another nice boost of health, as well as additional magical defense, rounding out your defensive stats. At this point, you should be relatively tanky, so helping your teammates with your items will be the next point of focus. Lotus Crown will apply bonus defenses to anyone healed by your monolith, so go ahead and pick it up. Finally, sell Watcher's Gift and pick up Mantle of Discord for even more disruption during team fights. Thanks for watching the Smite God Reveal for Terra, the Earth Mother.